Hello! Welcome back to Hexit. We're going to be spending some time at home base today. Um, I got these cactuses, cacti, from the last time we went out adventuring a lot. Let's hold on to that. In here, uh, these guys here, and they make these fruit-seed things. And I don't know whether I can place these like cactus and they'll grow, or if I have to plant the seed things. But, regardless of that, they need a place to be. Because I kind of want to have them, but they need, like, a farm zone where they can grow and be cactus. Which means they need their own little beautified section of sand island. Which I think we'll use this chunk of sand here this chunk of island here and build it out for that purpose maybe and then we'll build we'll turn this area I think into growing sugarcane even though I don't really need more sugarcane so I just don't really like that sugarcane farm kind of thing set up there so but the cactus kind of need a decent amount of space to grow. They're kind of big, if you recall from when we in met them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig all this stuff up, all this sand up, and then expand the island outwards. And we might get rid of that other that island of reeds to set up this cactus island. You know, dig it out some. And we'll get all the dirt out of here too. But we'll have to see how these cactus grow as well. I think I might have to plant these fruits as seed. I don't know what I can do with the whole cactus. I don't think it'll grow. I don't know. It sounds like an experiment though, eh? <coughs> and I figured, you know what? Now, and the other thing that's a little bit weird about this cactus is they only produce these fruit after it rains. So, we're going to look into this, some of that. We might start looking into more of the magic -y stuff soon. We might have to expand our magic hut. Or build another building. We'll see. Cause there's, some, there's some things I haven't really looked into, like these baubles. I do not know what they are, really. So, we're going to see if we can either find them, or if we can craft them out of stuff. I think the goal is to be able to craft them out of stuff. And we'll see if we've already got that, or what. Do-do-do, do-do-do. This was faster. I do think we made a bit of a mistake with our cleaver, not making part of it out of paper, so we could have had another enchantment or another modifier, but it's too late now. <laughs> and honestly, it's probably, it's pretty tough as it is. Um, against anything that's a spider or undead, which is like most of the mobs anyways. So it should be okay. Plus it'll be fun to like lob things heads off. And... We'll see about maybe going back into... I don't know, when we look into what those... When I look into what those baubles are, or whatever they're called, We'll see whether or not where we need to go or something. We might have to explore back into the Twilight Forest. I might do that anyways, just for fun. But today, we're focusing on a little, little home improvement. A little, little landscaping in the backyard. Why not? Oop. 
Should be nice. Trying to make everything look fairly pretty. I'm not sure how we're gonna light it up back here, or if we're gonna bother at all with that. Cause it's not really a building, unless we wanted to make it like... a greenhouse? Which would maybe be kind of silly. Or, that's my opinion of it anyways. Oh, there's a lot of sand here though, eh? This can always kind of be an issue when you're doing terraforming, though. It's, I mean, that's what this is, right? Terraforming? This should be neat. Kind of... I mean, I know, like, a cactus farm doesn't necessarily go with our Japanese temple of gardening, but... eh? We need more flowers for it, too. But we'll see. I mean, I don't know. I don't really know how well this is gonna work, even. I don't think it needs, like, water nearby. I don't think. We might grow some aloe out here as well. Which I also don't know what that does, so... That could be fun. You know what, let's keep this leveled, actually like multi-leveled. It'll make it more interesting. I think. Let's give it two blocks all the way around the edge. At least. Like that. There. There. Let me get rid of this dirt. I don't want any dirt. I want this island to be all sand. All sand. Boop. 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 There's our solution to that. So why does it dig up dirt so quickly, but it doesn't dig up sand as quickly? I do not know why. That's okay. It's not really that important, I suppose. But, this will be our little... our little desert home away from home for these cacti. I don't know how many we're gonna plant. Well, we're, I think we're gonna make, we're gonna do a few experiments with it, really, because we're gonna see what the seed, like, we're gonna plant some of the seed fruits things, and we're just gonna place some of the cactus blocks down, see if that does anything at all. And I don't know if we're gonna do anything with those islands over there yet, still. Okay. Let's shape this a little bit to be a bit more interesting. It's still like easy to walk around and such. I want it to still kind of feel not I don't I, won't, I don't want it to look too manipulated. You know? And I'm hungry. Nom 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 nom. So what we're gonna do... Oh no! I missed a couple. Oh, I still have my materials and new book on me. Whoops. There we are. And this one as well. Mess around with over there later. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these like here I'm gonna put a couple of them really yeah that's what I thought <laughs> and then we'll see if these will grow like this I don't know how long it'll take I might need to like 
cheat in a load, a chunk loader. And we'll put a couple of them like up here, like this. That might be too close to each other. Never mind. Like this, because these things get kind of big. I mean, the one I snabbed all these blocks from was pretty big, so gotta be careful with how close they are getting to each other. And then we'll try doing one of these moves with like a couple of these guys. Right like that. Maybe one there. Sure. Maybe one there too. So this will be our little cactus farm. I don't know if I can do anything with this. Sagaro cactus. Cac. Cactus. Okay. So what is that? Cactus base. Sagaro cactus. I can use it to make cactus green. Ow! I'm getting. I'm getting hit. Die. Die. They're dropping heads? They should be dropping heads. The cleaver has an increased chance for them to, like, cause a head drop. Anyways. Wait, cactus weapons? What? How do I make... How, how do I make you? Cactus tool part. Cactus rod. Hey! Stop! Tiny cactus. Makes cactus paste. Cactus paste makes cactus green. Cactus green makes all sorts of stuff. Backpacks. Star! Where was that? Hit land. I heard it. I heard it! Nope, it is lost. It is lost forever. It's too late now. Okay. So what about this? How do I make these? Are they with regular cactus? Cactus cloth helmet. The cactus armor. It's kind of silly. Huh? Cactus juice. Refreshing. <laughs> you could make a water bucket out of it. Okay. I don't know if I can... I don't know why I'd want to, but... I don't know. Let's see, what, let's see if we can use it for that. Or not, real quick. Just for funs. And then we'll let those cactus grow. And hopefully, they will grow. And we will have cactus fruit for days. Got more spider's eyes, but... Okay, uh, probably in here? Let's just, let's, can we make a cactus pickaxe head? We can! So we can use it as, like, a silly material. <laughs> I don't know why I'd want to, <laughs> honestly. Besides the fact that they, they're green. I don't know if it actually helps with anything. I don't know what the jagged modifier does. I really don't know. Oh, we can make cactus arrows. That'd be funny. Oh yeah, we need to make more arrowheads and stuff. I'll do that later. And that Minulian's still in there. <coughs> so, that was the cactus farm. Yay! I'm gonna get going because I gotta get this stuff edited and uploaded before, like, in the next half hour before I start my live stream. So, thanks a lot for watching, I do really appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel, flip over to Twitch, follow over there. I do a lot of Pixelmon, apparently, is what people like, so if you like Pixelmon, we'll be, we do that more over on Twitch, and I'll do Trove and Terraria and some other stuff. And, of course, always, viewer suggestions. I'd really appreciate it, I'd like to see you come by. Follow me on Twitter to know what I'm doing and when new videos go up and when new streams start. And, you know, if you want to see pictures of stuff and whatnot. So, thanks a lot. I do really appreciate it. Watching this stuff, supporting my channels and whatnot. It makes me happy in thinking that maybe one day, one day, 
I can do this instead of my shit job that I don't like. So, thanks a lot. I, I can't express that enough. And I will see you another time. Bye-bye!